what is now known in neurophysiology is that there are two pathways in the brain. So a group of researchers at UCLA looked at this and said, fight or flight makes a lot of sense unless you've got three kids hanging on you and you're eight months pregnant. Therefore, they said, there must, for evolutionary reasons, <clears throat> be a second pathway. There must be another neurotransmitter other than adrenaline. And that's how oxytocin was rediscovered and uh, the, what is called the tend or befriend response. Mm. What's interesting for us is to know that fight or flight and tend and befriend are opposites that, um, uh, what's the word, um, uh, counteract each other so that adrenaline is dissolved by oxytocin and oxytocin is dissolved by adrenaline. So what does this have to do with what we're talking about? I think the answer is that um, uh, adrenaline leads to self-defense. Self-defense uh, includes the illusion that you are more powerful than you actually are. The peacock's feathers, uh, the bristling of the coat, uh, the you know, sort of raising up in size of whatever the animal is that is um, being attacked. Uh, that's a kind of mask. Um, it's a, a display of power. Uh, but the second is the tend and befriend response, which is to drop all of that. And doing that rebuilds trust because other people see that. If you're willing to take the risk of showing me how to hurt you, um, I can take that risk too. So we have all been, last point, we have all been in conversations where, in groups particularly, where somebody takes a big risk and says, um, you know, I really uh, feel badly about myself because I whatever, this, that, or the other. And what that does is to give everyone in the group permission to be open and honest themselves. And I think that response is a very, very powerful one. Now, what we can do in conflict resolution is to deepen that response, make it more skillful, um, elaborate it, develop questions that are targeted to the very specific behavior that destroyed the trust in the first place. Um, we can offer to pay a price, which rebuilds trust. Um, uh, we can be uh, unconditionally kind and respectful of other people. That rebuilds trust. 